What's going on guys, it's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this really cool split screen effect that you guys can do in your lookbooks or whatever you guys are going to be using this for whatever projects that you guys are going to be wanting to do this on. So we're going to work with this video here that I downloaded. So shout outs to the creator of course. Um, I will never, you know, use a video without crediting them. So subscribe to them. A link is in the description. She's just using an outfit, as you can see, with the same background. So if you guys have access to a tripod or a camera or whatever, you guys can do the same exact thing. It just makes it look nice, you know. I'm going to go ahead and just do this one. And I'm going to cut it, okay. And she's just posing. All right, I'm just going to go like that. Sweet. So I'm going to cut it there. And I'm going to delete this because we only need this one clip. I'm also going to get rid of the music because I'm not sure if that's royalty free or not. So um, we have that and then we're going to choose a different outfit and I'm going to cut it there. Delete this part and this is the beginning and I'm going to let it run a little bit and then right there I'm going to cut it. So now we have this going on. All right. So once we have those two videos, we're going to place the other one with a different outfit in the bottom and then a different outfit on top. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and Go to the transform tool by clicking this little button, click transform. Don't drag this here because you can see Final Cut Pro 10 doesn't snap to the edges, which is very annoying and I hope they fix that. And you go to the transform, so X, we're going to drag this to the left and we're going to drag this relatively um, over here on the first, uh, first quarter, so around here. Click on this and we're going to go to crop. Now we're going to crop this out and just drag that to the middle and this should snap to the middle here and you can see that the video is not centered properly so we're going to go back to transform and we're going to drag this a little bit more to the left here and then we're going to readjust the cropping so it fits perfectly in the middle and then we're going to click done now all we're going to do is select this other video here and go to transform and don't drag it here but just go to the transform and drag this to the right here so it's around the center here like that and so now if I push play you can see that there are two total different clips playing which looks pretty cool so now what I want to go ahead and do is I want to add a little white border in here so you don't see the difference in between these two clips so to do that simple just go to the generators tab by clicking over here with the T go to generators go to custom and drag this on top of that clip then go to the top and just trim that to fit the length of that clip go to the transform and just drag this just drag this to the length or the thickness you want it to be so I think that one looks good so I'm gonna go back to fit go on here while it's still selected and I'm gonna change this color to white and just leave it how it is so you can change this to a different color if you want you can do like green maybe blue I'm just gonna leave that white though for now. Select everything, right click, click new compounds clip to group all the clips together. So all I'm gonna do now is go to the effects, go to all video and audio and look up border and just drag this on top of that clip. So now you should have something like this. Then go to the simple border, click on the color you wanna change it to, increase the saturation slider or the brightness slider to the left and change the color to your liking so you can do yellow you can do red I like to stick with very vibrant colors in this case and you can also change the mix like you make it transparent if you want and here you can change the width if you want it more thick if you want or maybe less so I'm gonna do something like that or just reset it to how it was alright guys so once you're done with this all you have to do is just add the music I'll have a link to this song in the description of this video So yeah, if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like and just comment down below what other videos you guys want and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.